right? You know what I mean? yeah. That doesn't really apply because in that case, right, um, the person is like those two things at the same time in the same way. Yeah, so that, okay. Jesus is in the same, same, those two things in the same time in the same way. Okay, Jesus. Same time, but not in the same way. Okay, listen. You said the same time, but not in the same way, all right? Yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. okay? Is there any point where he doesn't exhibit either the human uh, nature or the divine nature? Uh, it would be impossible for him if that's his nature. Like, it's like he right. Exhibit so, so he exhibits both at yeah. all times? Okay, so the, 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 therefore, the, the conditions of contradiction apply. There are conditions for contradiction to apply, right? If uh, these conditions are that there are eight conditions, uh, for example, in some logicians mentioned, but one of them is that if they're in the same place in the same time and they're opposite things, it's a contradiction. For example, if I say there's a tall man and a short man, if I'm tall today, I'm six foot six, okay, but when I was six years old, I was maybe like I don't know three foot tall or something. I don't, I don't know how tall they are, yeah? So I was short comparatively to how tall I am now when I was six. So I was the same person, let's say, two different heights. There's no difference of opinion here. There's no, there's no contradiction here. But if I say, look, I'm tall and short at the same time with that caveat at the same, so I'm tall, I'm six foot six, but I'm three foot tall, both at the same time, therein lies the contradiction. I'm saying with, with Jesus, if you're saying that he's all powerful and he's limited and that he's all knowledgeable, but he has limited knowledge, both at the same time. In other words, if he exhibits both the human nature and or if he possesses both the human nature and the divine nature in his one center of consciousness, then that's where the contradiction lies. Yeah, so the way we all resolve that is by, by, by so the last way, yeah, the most developed is Say again? Um, there's a lot of ways to make a result there. Okay, so go ahead. Like, um, the best way is like, um, we see that Christ has two wills, first of all. Sorry? We see that Christ has two wills. We see that Christ has two minds. God has two wills? Yeah. No, no, Christ, Christ, has... Christ has two wills and two okay. minds, right? Okay. And so that can kind of explain the differences there. Because if he had one mind that knew from the dead, that wouldn't make any sense. But he has two minds, right? And, 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 and he has two wills, right? And one will, right? He can do anything. Another will is dependent and is weak. You're saying Christ has two wills? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's new to me that you're saying that. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. No problem. Let's go with it. That. Yeah. The two wills. Which one is superior to which? The divine wills. So now, if I ask you a question, right? If you, if Christ has two wills, and Christ is part of the Trinity, so are there four wills in the Trinity? I oh, know because the human nature is not part of the Trinity. It's not part of Trinity. Okay. Remember, we see it's called okay. hyperstatic union. Hyperstatic, hyperstatic population. union. Okay. Hyperstatic union. All right. So hyperstatic Jesus. Oriental. Great. So Jesus is part of the Trinity, yeah. but the divine Jesus is part of the Trinity, not the human Jesus. Yes. Yet, yeah. the human Jesus and the divine Jesus are inextricably linked. Uh, union, in fact, yeah. How does that make sense? Let me explain that again. You're saying, or you've said. That you, the, the, the figure of Jesus Christ has two wills. You have the divine will and then you have the human will. Jesus is part of the Trinity. There is one center of consciousness called Jesus Christ. It possesses two wills. Okay. Now what I'm saying is, if that is the case and they're inextricably linked, then is there not four wills to the Trinity? If Jesus, if Jesus, you've just said that Jesus has two wills. Yeah, but the, 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 the will of the divine side is the, is the will of the Trinity. That's the Trinity's one will. That's the divine side has that one will. So is the human side irrelevant? In what sense? In, in the construction of the uh, personhood of Jesus Christ. Uh, well, irrelevant, I mean, before he became unified to that human nature, it was relevant, that's it. It was relevant now, now in Unify. I don't know what you mean by irrelevant. Okay. Like, he can, he can exist without it. Yeah, he can even that right now. If Jesus Christ became unified with a human nature, then the fundamental nature of the Trinity, which is that you have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, yeah. that must have changed. If the Son now has okay. two different natures. I'll get, I'll get your point now, yeah. Um, so again, I think you're confusing, like, you think of a, a mixture, remember? It's a union. They don't intermingle each other. They, 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 there's things for another year, but they're unified. They're okay, but together. the figure of Jesus Christ is part yeah. of the Trinity. Uh, the divine nature is part of the Trinity, yeah. Not human nature. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, if the divine nature is part of the human, uh, the Trinity, yeah. Jesus is part of the Trinity. Yeah. Is there a connection between the divine nature of Jesus Christ and the human nature of Jesus Christ? 
there is, but I feel like... What is that connection? It's not a union, like, they're, 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 they're right, right. together. So now they're... they're mixed, in, yeah. I understand, they're not mixed, but now they're inextricably linked. Yes. Right. So this... Yeah. So, the fundamental nature of what it means to be Jesus Christ has changed pre, post-incarnation. What it means to be the Son? Yeah. Um, no, not really. Again, so again. there was no difference? There's no change? Uh, no, there's no change actually, no. Because okay. It's a union. Um, so basically, it's kind of, it's kind of like... Um, okay. He, he had, along his divine nature, like his divine self, right? He had a human nature attached to it now. Yeah. That was okay. Him, but, like, so that is, that, is, that, is that attachment a change or is that not a change? Oh, no, we don't consider it a change. No. So what is it then? Um, it's a union. We've got a union. That's what it okay, is. and is that union, is that indicative of change or not change? Well, it depends on how you do word change it. I remember, I think, I think we kind of put us in the word change it. Is it a transformation? No, it's not. So what is but, it? But no, my point, though, I want to explain what you uh, uh, word change, right? Um, you can change your clothes, right? You can change your clothes, right? Sometimes, yeah. You can change your mind, right? Yep. Um, and let's fair, fair enough. Right. Yeah, you're, 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 yeah. Like um, no, like guy next to me, like, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm with you. Like, it's, it's, right, but fine. Not the same way. Fine. Fine. So uh, let, let me. Let, let, you can use the word yeah, fine, fine. Let's let's be more specific. Um, fair enough. That's yeah. good. That's uh, so now you're being more specific. Like, what do you mean by change? Yeah, yeah. Like, so now, yeah. okay, is there a change in the whoness of Jesus Christ? Uh, no, actually, it's still one who. It's still one who. Okay, so when Jesus Christ, if you pointed at the human Jesus as he was alive, yeah. being uh, crucified on the on the cross, saying uh, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, yeah. yeah, God, God, why have you forsaken me? Would I be pointing at Jesus or would I be pointing at some, someone else? You'd be pointing at a person. And, and would I be pointing at Jesus Christ or someone else? Uh, well, there is no someone else. There's only one person there. So you'd be pointing at Jesus Christ. So I would be pointing at Jesus Christ? Yeah. So that Je if that Jesus Christ that I'm pointing at, if I had pointed to... So this Jesus Christ is now part of the divine nature, is in union with the divine nature of yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. However, he wasn't part of that divine nature in the past. Okay, so there, so what would you call the fact that if I were to point at the human being of Jesus Christ, at one point I would be po pointing at Jesus Christ, and that if I didn't in the past, I would not be pointing at Jesus Christ. What would you call that kind I of thing? No, no, no. Remember, there's only one person. He didn't become a new person, a different person. I understand, but person. but you've said that he's taken a human form, right? So when you say Jesus, right? That's the who, there. that's the person, that's the person. Yeah, yeah. So before and after, it's still be Jesus, it's still be the same person. It's still be the human Jesus yeah. is that part of the whoness of Jesus Christ? Uh, no, that, remember, that, that's nature, that, that's the what or something. No, the human, if it's I were to point... It's the, it's the word. It's but the when word. I say the word, if I say the whoness here, I'm talking about if I point at him, if I point at Jesus Christ, <laughs> but whilst he's being crucified on the cross according yeah. to you, yeah, we don't believe, but we say crucified on the cross, am I pointing at a person? Yes, yes. yes. and who am I pointing at? The word, the Son of God. Jesus Christ? Yeah. Okay, now that Jesus Christ, what age was he when he was being uh, crucified? The basis. Let's stay right, let's, no problem, whatever you say, 33, yeah? So 34 years before that, if I were to point at that cross or anywhere in the world, I would not be pointing at the human Jesus Christ because he would not be born, correct? Um, he, he wasn't called Jesus Christ yet, but he would still be the word. Be the same no, no, but the human Jesus Christ yeah. was not born 34 years before that in the moment. I mean, I think this year, like, um, let's, let's say you wear, you go to work, right? You wear a policeman costume, right? And I say, you're a policeman, right? But only you're a policeman. Does that mean you change or just like... Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So, yeah, change in that sense. In that sense, yeah, I agree, in that sense, yeah. Okay. But you're not changing as in, like, you become a different person. Or I'm saying that 33 years before... Years. Yeah, 35 years, let's go 50 years, uh, before the cru alleged crucifixion, If G was the human Jesus Christ on the earth or not? Okay, so 50 years before the crucifixion, he wasn't on the earth. No. Then he became on the earth. Yeah. What, do you cons what, do you, what do you call this uh, before and after? What do you call it? Uh, incarnation. Incarnation. And what does the incarnation signify? Was there a turning point? Did it signify some turning point or not? It signified the union between a, a created human nature to the by nature and it was expressing the one hypothesis of Christ. Right, I understand. Yeah. And that change that took place before well, and after. It wasn't a fundamental change, it wasn't a eternal change, it wasn't a nature change. More so like um, this way, this more so like an Composi Compositional change? Um, yeah, compositional change, yeah. Like oh, expression. fantastic. No, no, okay. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now, now we're getting to like kind of early Christology, but um, to, make, to make it simple, expression. 
can, we can make stress differently. We can, well, it's more. Uh, Ellie, Ellie stressed solely by divine nature. I'm no, just, but I'm, I'm the inclination yet. Through a human and it's, it's not just expression yeah. because if I were to point at the Jesus Christ 35 years after that point or when he was on the cross say if I were to point at him I'd be pointing at if I say who's that would that be an unintelligible proposition if there was someone on the cross yeah. I'd say who's that and, we, and if God, yeah great so you, you, you would answer it yeah. good so the who-ness of Jesus can be expressed in a different way. Define who -ness. When you say who, right, you're talking about the person or the nature. Who? Because the who, the, the person didn't change. The person was saying before and after. That's what I'm saying. That, that's No, what I'm saying here is the that... Was no, no, no. I'm talking about the person. I am actually talking about... Oh, yeah, about yeah. So, yeah. Same. Before we well, here's what I'm saying. That's why I'm, that's why I'm debating with you right yeah. now. Because I'm saying that if I were to say, if the Jesus Christ was there, and I were to point at him and I say, who's that? Or well, someone said, who's that? And he pointed at him and he was alive walking on the earth. I'm saying, is that, a, is that an unintelligible question or is it an intelligible question? It's an intelligible question. Yeah. It's an intelligible question. Yeah. And can it be answered? Of course, yeah. Yes. Now, would that answer be the same when he was alive versus when, before he was born or would it be different? Um, I guess, would, 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 like, if I met Jesus Christ in the Old Testament, like, um, I, I, as like a figure in like, into the laws. Right? Do you understand my question? I think so, yeah. Okay, let me, let, me, let me put it in a different way for you. Jesus, let, let me, let, give me a second. Jesus Christ walking about in the, in the earth, yeah? The human nature of Jesus Christ is being expressed. Yeah. You'd, you'd, you'd accept that it's the human nature, yeah? Yeah. Someone at his time points at him and says, who's that? That's an intelligible question. Yeah. Okay? And so if someone replies to that question, that's Jesus Christ. Yeah. 35 years before that, so before he was born, that question, who's that, would be unintelligible because there would be nothing to point at, correct or not? What do you mean nothing to point at? There's no human manifestation of Jesus Christ 35 years before the crucifixion. Then you'd be pointing at God then, just be like No, you wouldn't be pointing at anybody. If I if I if I No no, now you're confusing yourself. Because if I said to you, look, just just let's be fair and real, right? Yeah. Jesus Christ walked the earth. I mean, no, you said, you said that he would, nothing there. What do you mean by Listen. Listen. Jesus Christ walked the earth. Yeah. Yes? Okay. If he was walking around in Bethlehem, in Jerusalem, wherever he walked, ascending, coming down, yeah. honeycomb, uh, boiled fish, on the cross where you believe, whatever. Someone said to him, who's that? You were there, let's pretend we take you on a time machine. You say, who's that? First of all, does that question make sense? Yes, it does make sense. Now, if someone replied, that's Jesus Christ, would that be the correct answer? Yes, it would be the correct answer. Now, 50 years before that point, where Jesus did not, was not born in the, in the, in the stable, yeah, and the, the three wise men didn't come to him and all that stuff. Before that situation happened, according to you, if someone were to point anywhere on the earth, or in the universe, in fact, and try and find this Jesus Christ, they would not yeah. be able to find him. No, they wouldn't. Right. So the question, who's that? If they were to point anywhere in the universe, they would not be able to. It would be unintelligible. Correct. Yeah. All right. So, so now we have uh, we have a difference in who-ness before and after the birth of Jesus Christ. Yes, because it's, we've just ex we've just explained how it's the difference in who-ness because. Before his birth, you could point at him and say, that's Jesus. After his birth, sorry, after his birth, you could do that. Before his birth, you couldn't do that. So, of course, there's a difference. Because he wasn't incarnate yet. He wasn't incarnate, that's why. That's what I'm saying. That's what, the point is, is that I'm saying the, incarn the doctrine of the incarnation has brought about a logical fallacy, a contradiction which cannot be re reconciled by the so, human so, mind. So, because uh, before he was incarnate, I couldn't find him anywhere. How does that lead to a, to a I'm saying that the hypostatic union yeah. or, the, or the doctrine of the incarnation, yeah. which uh, many church fathers base on the first uh, chapter and the first verse of John. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God yeah. and so on. Yeah. And the word became flesh. Okay, listen. Yeah. So, the, the, so the doctrine of the incarnation and the idea of the hypostatic union, one must admit that there is a fundamental change 
not just in the expression of God's attributes, but in the who-ness of God himself. Or in fact, let me put it in this way, because I'm using the word God, but I should be using the word Jesus. But of course, you'd be using it interchangeably. I say, look, Jesus Christ, before and after the hypostatic union, were two different... Um, you could be, you could express the who-ness in two different ways. So if I were to, if I were to point, if I, there, was, there was nothing, no, no, I'm saying who. I'm saying, who, uh, who ref, okay, who, person yes, or? person. What well, the difference between who and what in the English language or any language, well, yeah? I'm using more in the traditional sense. Okay, well, the, well, fine. Sense, yeah. In the English language, any language, what is inanimate? Yeah, you say what Okay, and, and who is animate or personal, yeah, right? So you say, we don't say what is that and point out human being. Unless you want to become racist, or, or rude, you know, yeah. or rude, <laughs> you know, we don't say this. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand. So, if I'm saying now, yeah, but, but when we when we look at Jesus Christ, a human, yes, which you agree has a human side. Yeah. When he was on, according to you, he's on the cross. Yeah, I say, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani? God, God, why have you forsaken me? And someone points and says, Who's that? That question would be intelligible propositionally. But if before that time. Yes, the question makes sense. That's what I'm saying right now. The question can, makes sense. Can you now say, um, where is God? Can you say that right now? Yeah, I, is that a simple question? Yeah, yeah, where is, where is God is not the same as who is God. As that's what oh. we were, we're in two different things. You're not understanding. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Where is God is different to who is God. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm saying to you that your problem is not in where is Jesus. Your problem is who is Jesus. Oh, you're you, you're up what I'm saying is that before the hypostatic union, your answer to the question of who is Jesus has fundamentally changed. And if oh, you, okay, okay. yeah, so before the hypostatic union, before the incarnation, you must maintain that the question who is Jesus has, is, has two different answers. Before you're saying that it was just the divine essence. After it's the divine essence and the human essence. Okay. Correct or incorrect? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Correct. So, so now we're in a problem. Uh, okay, but no, now, now, now your God has changed. Now it's a problem now. Because your God has now a human element has anthropomorphized, has humanized. Do you understand the problem here? So, and the, the, the contradiction lies in the following. How can God change on a, on a level which causes impossibility? It's not just any level. It's the fact that God is changing and he has two sets of attributes which are contradictory with one another. On the one hand, he's all powerful. On the, on the other hand, he's limited. He can be whipped and spat at and, you know, go to the toilet and don't know where the fig trees and all that. So it doesn't make sense. That's why it's... It's, it's, it's an affront to common sense. It's, it's, it, that's why it is, it's, uh, it's, obscene to, it's obscene to the logical process. Okay, yeah, I yeah. must say this. I'm going to get your point now. Yeah. Um, so, go back to the whole Hunus, right? The Hunus before and after they changed, right? Yes. Um, I mean, tell me back. Um, the Hunus before and after was the same. The same Hunus. No, it wasn't the same. No, it wasn't the same. Um, As I said to you before, now before and after the hypostatic union, the incarnation, whatever. If you're saying that there was a union between the two natures yeah. of Jesus Christ, yeah. the human nature and the divine nature, before Jesus, before the Word became flesh, yeah. okay, before the hypostatic, before, the, before anything you want, you, can't, you cannot maintain that God had, or Jesus had, both those natures. So he has a new nature now, new, yeah. N-E-W, which yeah. means it wasn't there before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means now, if I were to point out Jesus, say, so who's Jesus? Jesus, the divine one, do you want, or do you want the human one? We have two Jesus now. Uh, no, no, remember, remember, uh, the, the human nature did not instantiate Two natures. All. The human, human nature did not instantiate all, yeah? The of course it did. It instantiated, it became flesh. It was there in the human no, no, walking it around. It didn't instantiate. It didn't instantiate at all. No, 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 Is that what you're saying? It instantiated, but not as a hypostasis. It didn't form another hypostasis, but it's simply expressing the person of Jesus Christ, or the person of the word of God. The human expression... Yeah was manifest for all to see yeah, yeah. on the cross. Otherwise, the cross means nothing. Otherwise, the crucifixion means nothing. Otherwise, it's all, it's all fiction. So you can't say it didn't instantiate at all. Of course it did, because you believe in the, ascent, the doctrine of the ascension. Yeah, yeah. You believe in the doctrine of the, uh, the crucifixion. You believe in the doctrine of the resurrection. If, so when that was happening and people could see it according to you, yeah. was that a physical instantiation or was that not a physical instantiation? So yeah, so when I say instantiation, right, what I mean there, uh, so, so for us, right, the, the abstract would be the nature, right, and the concrete would be the, would be the person who is there. Um, and then it could concretize into an actual hypostasis, as a person to Christ. There's still one person there, but now he just had a, 
just had another expression there. He had a human, had a human expression and a divine expression alongside his, yeah, alongside each other. You're using the word expression to yeah. try and run away from the fact that the who-ness of God, yeah. according to you, the who-ness of Jesus Christ, fundamental. So look, if Jesus Christ is God, do you believe he's God? Of course, yeah. Yes. Jesus is God. Yes. Yeah. And before and after, this Jesus God, yeah. He now has a new nature, a human nature, which he didn't have before. So your God changed, correct? Yes. 